Good evening, I'm Nick McGurk. Thank you so much for spending your Sunday night with us right here on ABC4. Well, tonight, a community is in shock as they try to figure out what possessed a man to stab five people at a rabbi's home. Police say 38-year-old Grafton Thomas is responsible for the attack. It left five people seriously hurt in the town of Monsey. That's about an hour north of New York City. People that were there say they were scared for their lives. He took out his knife's worth from a holder and started hitting people back and forth. Not, he didn't say anything. First, he went into the dining room and hit a few people there. And then he went to the kitchen. He hit one guy there. And then he came back to the dining room. Thomas is behind bars tonight, but we're told he has no previous criminal history. Bond has been set at $5 million. He's due in court again next Friday. And it is acts like this that are bringing people together across the country and here in Utah. Experts say the chilling facts are this. Acts of anti-Semitism are on the rise all over the country. Tonight, as local Jewish leaders gathered on this final night of Hanukkah, we spoke with them to get their perspective. The final night of Hanukkah in downtown Salt Lake. Candles of the menorah carving patterns of light against the darkness. Times can be dark. Quietly, please surround this gathering. A necessary precaution, organizers say, after five were stabbed at a rabbi's home in New York just yesterday. Jews were viciously attacked while practicing their faith. Faith draws so many here together, but so too does a conviction that Jews everywhere face a historic threat. We have to face the fact for Jews in this country, there is a new reality. The case in New York captivating headlines for its shocking violence. Sadly, though, Jews like Ron Zamir say the violence doesn't end there. This is the 18th attack, physical attack on Jews in the month of December. According to the Anti-Defamation League, assault, harassment, and vandalism against Jews remain at near historic levels in the U.S. And FBI data shows that Jews were the overwhelming target of hate-based crimes last year. The reaction from the wider community has been really, really empowering and heartwarming. And yet, the community is here for a reason bound together in the December darkness and praying for light. We have friends and we have community. We have each other. And if we work on educating our community, if we join forces with other communities that are suffering hate, we can, like the lights of the Hanukkah candles, we can make that darkness go away. A powerful message there. Samir so telling us there was a more than 100% spike in physical attacks against Jews from 2017 to 2018. It's a trend that he says is only getting worse.